today at Comrick and Glenn's going to show us how we move the half shafts out. Alright, that one's too tight. That's a 12 ton cylinder Glenn just used to crack it. Now it's going to quickly change over the 5 ton to drive that shaft out all the way. Yeah. Done. Beautiful. Came out easy. Yeah, so Glenn, how long have you had the tool so far? I think we've had about two or three years, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. So come across any that you haven't haven't been able to get out? Not one, not one, not for me, I've none, none from local mechanics that come down. It's, um, How many reckon you've done in those, that time? Have to be at least a couple of hundred. Okay. At least. So what made you decide to buy the tool? Well, we've always had issues. We used to hit them with a hammer and, and damage the thread on the end of the shaft or, or loosen the bearing in the actual housing. Yep. Is this another tight one, is it? Yeah. No, I'm not Okay. Do you get many that are this tight? Oh, probably one in five. We've got two here, but usually about one in five, I'd say. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can. So, what do you have to change over from the 12 back to the 5? Just because not, not quite enough travel on the end of that. Yep. To be able to push it all the way through. Sometimes they do come out. Yep. Um, uh, sorry. Whenever you're ready. Okay. disc on there yep just so they sit flush yep when you don't have the disc you just gotta evenly tighten the nuts up so you don't skew the plate yep so pull it in square
So how many more have we got to do after this? I think we'll probably do probably a hundred today. Okay. If we get through them all. Okay. Done, huh? Okay. Well, well, done. Well, thanks, Glenn, for showing us. No dramas. It's the mechanics, mate. Thank you.